everyone i'm anu and you're watching explore to shine welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well if you have not subscribed to my channel please take a moment to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you are notified when i upload a new video with no further delay let's dive right into this video fill in the blanks topic fundamentals and internet session 2 first question computer is an electronic dash machine manipulation of data according to the instruction is called dash second question the physical components of computer are called dash and the set of programs to perform specific tasks are called dash Charles Babbage invented dash and he is referred as dash So answer for these questions computer is an electronic data processing machine manipulation of data according to instruction is called processing the physical components of computer are called hardware and set of programs to perform specific tasks are called software Charles Babbage invented analytical engine and he is referred as father of computer. Next question The technology or component which is being used in second generation of computers was dash and in fourth generation of computer is dash. Computers are classified based on data dash and dash. Based on data, computer are classified into analog, dash, and dash. Answer for these questions: The technology used in second generation of computers was transistors, and in fourth generation is VLSIC, very large scale integrated circuit, which is also called a microprocessor. Computers are classified. firstly based on data next according to size and then the speed based on data computers are classified into firstly analog computer next classification is digital computers and the third one is hybrid computers so based on data computers has been classified into three types analog digital and hybrid Next question Dash are also called as notebook computers and dash are called as PDA personal digital assistant Hybrid computers combines the features of dash and dash computers The two types of printers are dash and dash The answers for these question Laptop are also called as notebook computers and hand held computers are called as pda hybrid computers combines the features of analog and digital computers the two types of printers are impact printers and non impact printers the next one mu that is memory unit dash and dash are collectively known as cpu dash performs calculations and comparisons and dash controls the entire activity of the computer next question dash unit is used to enter data and instruction to the computer and dash unit is used to display the processed data the answer for these question memory unit ALU and CU are collectively known as CPU. ALU stands for arithmetic and logic unit. CU is control unit which is combinedly together they are called as CPU central processing unit. Dash performs calculations and comparisons. ALU that is arithmetic and logic unit performs calculations and comparisons and control unit controls the entire activity of the computer 
input unit is used to enter data and instruction to the computer and output unit is used to display the processed data. Next set of questions. Dash is a brain of computer and dash is a storage unit that stores all the data and instructions. The process of entering data and instruction to the computer is called dash and displaying the process data to the user is called dash. Next question. There are dash number of functional keys and dash number of LED status indicator. The answer for these questions. CPU is the brain of computer and memory is the storage unit that stores all the data and instruction. The process of entering data and instruction to the computer is called inputting and displaying the process data to the user is called outputting. There are 12 number of functional keys and 3 number of LED status indicator. Next question. A small arrow you see when you move mouse is called dash and a mouse is placed on rubber pad called dash. Dash converts hard copy to soft copy and dash converts soft copy to hard copy. Next question. The two commonly used input devices are dash and dash. The answer for these question, a small arrow you see when you move mouse is called as mouse pointer and a mouse is placed on rubber pad which is called as mouse pad. Scanner converts hard copy to soft copy and printer converts soft copy to hard copy. The two commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. So next set of question. Dash is used to read printed text and dash is used to recognize the type of mark made by pen or pencil. Dash is used for reading check number and bank code number and dash is used to read bar coded data. The two types of memory are dash and dash. The answer for these questions, OCR, optical character reader is used to read printed text and OMR, optical mark reader is used to recognize the type of mark made by pen or pencil. MICR is used for reading check number and bank code number and BCR, barcode reader, is used to read barcoded data. The two types of memory are primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory also called as main memory and secondary memory is also called as axillary memory. The two types of primary memory are dash and dash. Dash is called as read-write memory and dash is called as read-only memory. Dash is non-volatile memory and dash is volatile memory. The answer for these question, the two types of primary memory are RAM and ROM. RAM is called as read-write memory and ROM is called as read-only memory. ROM is non-volatile, RAM is volatile. Next question. Dash and Dash are examples of secondary storage devices. A collection of 8 Dash is called bytes and 1024 bytes is equal to Dash. Hard disk is divided into number of concentric circles called Dash. And it is further divided into segments called dash. The answer for these questions. Hard disk and pen drive. We also have floppy disk, CD, DVD. 
all these are examples of secondary storage device a collection of 8 bits is called as byte and 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte hard disk is divided into number of concentric circles called tracks and which is further divided into segments called as sectors next question the standard storage capacity of CD is dash and for DVD is dash. The most commonly used output devices are dash and dash. The two types of impact printers are dash and dash. The answer for this question, the standard storage capacity of CD is 700 MB and for DVD is 4.7 GB. The most commonly used output device are monitor and printers. The two types of impact printers are character printer and line printer. Next one. Dash and dash are examples of non-impact printers. The output on the monitor is called dash and the output taken by the printer is called dash. Dash and dash are output devices used to play sound. The answer for these question: Inject printers and laser printers are examples of non-impact printers. The output on the monitor is called as soft copy. And the output taken by printer is called hard copy. Speakers and headphones are output devices used to play sound. Next question. Dash and dash are the types of monitor. Dash is a graphical output device and dash is used to project text or image on a flat screen. Next one. The three types of software are system software, dash and dash. The answer for these questions. The types of monitor are LCD and LED. We also have CRT monitor. Plotter is a graphical output device and projector is used to project text or image on a flat screen. The three types of software are system software, application software and utility software. Next one. Dash and dash are the examples of system software. The two types of application software are dash and dash. Dash software are related to fine tuning and management of operating system and dash software are developed by the user to satisfy his own need. The answer for these question: Operating system, it is OS and language translators are the examples of system software. The two types of application software are packages and customized software. Utility software are related to fine tuning and management of operating system and application software are, are developed by the user to satisfy his own need. Next question. The two types of programming languages are dash and dash. Dash and dash are the two types of low level language. Programs written using Dash are called assembly level language and the programs written in Dash are called high level language. The answer for these question: The two types of programming languages are low level language and high level language. And the two types of low level language are machine level language and assembly level language. Programs written using mnemonic codes are called assembly level language and the programs written in English coding are called high level language.
Next question. Dash a system software that converts from one level of programming language to another level of programming language and it is of Dash types. Dash converts assembly level language to machine level language and Dash converts high level language to machine level language. Next one. Dash translates the entire program at a time whereas Dash translates line by line. The answer for these questions. Language processor or translator a system software that converts from one level of programming language to another level of programming language and you have three types of language processor. So assembler converts assembly level language to machine level language and compiler and interpreter converts high level language to machine level language. Compiler translate the entire program at a time whereas interpreter translates line by line. Windows is a dash and it is dash software. Dash and dash are the two categories of operating system. Dash is an example of CUI OS and dash is an example of GUI OS. The answer for these questions, Windows is an operating system and it is system software. The two categories of operating system are CUI and GUI. DOS is an example of CUI OS and Windows is an example of GUI OS. The main screen that appears as soon as you log on to Windows is called Dash and graphical representation of file folder or application is called Dash. Dash icon shows the disk drives and hardware connected to the computer and Dash is a temporary place for storing all the deleted files and folders. Next question. The long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen is called Dash. Clicking the Dash button brings up the start menu. The answer for these questions. The main screen that appears as soon as you log on to Windows is called as Desktop and the graphical representation of file folder application is called as Icon. Computer Icon shows the disk drives and hardware connected to the computer and Recycle Bin is a temporary place for storing all the deleted files and folders. The long horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen is called taskbar. Clicking the start button brings up the start menu. The middle section of the taskbar includes dash and dash. System icons are also called as dash icons and notification area is also called as dash. Dash contains folders and files and Dash is a collection of subfolder and files. The answer for these question. The middle session of taskbar includes quick launch icons and task buttons. System icons are also called as desktop icons and notification area is also called as system tray. Drives contains folders and files and folder is a collection of subfolder and files. Next question. Dash is the smallest unit of data that we can access and Dash is a tool to work with drives, folders, files and control panel. Dash is a disk management tool to remove unnecessary files to free disk space and Dash is disk management tool to rearrange the fragmented data. 
dash and dash are the text editors in Windows. The answer for these question, file is the smallest unit of data that we can access and Windows Explorer is a tool to work with drives, folders, files and control panel. Disk Cleanup is a disk management tool to remove unnecessary files to free disk space and Disk Defragmenter is disk management tool to rearrange the fragmented data. Notepad and WordPad are the text editors in Windows. Next question. Dash is a text or graphics that appears when we leave the system idle. The background of desktop is called Dash. Dash is a rich text editor and Dash is an application in Windows used for drawing and editing image. Next question. The extension of WordPad file is Dash and for Paint is Dash. The answer for these question. Screen saver is a text or graphics that appears when we leave the system idle. The background of desktop is called as wallpaper. WordPad is a rich text editor and Paint is an application in Windows used for drawing and editing image. The extension of WordPad file is RTF and for Paint is PNG. Next question. Dash is a global collection of computer networks across the world. The computers that are connected within the building is called Dash. Dash and Dash are the two types of web pages. Dash web page shows the same content every time you view and Dash web page shows different content each time you view. The answer for these question, Internet is a global collection of computer networks across the world. The computers that are connected within the building is called LAN. Static web pages and dynamic web pages are the two types of web pages. Static web page shows the same content every time you view and dynamic web page shows different content each time you view. Next question. Collection of interrelated web pages is called Dash and web pages are written in Dash language. Dash is a company which provides access to internet and Dash refers to address of web page or website. The two types of modem are Dash and Dash. The answer for these question. Collection of interrelated web pages is called website and web pages are written in HTML language or you say scripting language. ISP, Internet Service Provider, is the company which provides access to internet and URL, Uniform Resource Locator, refers to address of web page or website. The two types of modem are internal modem and external modem. The two main components of internet access software are Dash and Dash. Dash allows to access internet with the use of telephone line and Dash allows to access internet without telephone line. The two types of modem are Dash and Dash. The answer for these question. The two main components of internet access software are Dialer software and TCP IP software. Modem allows to access internet with the use of telephone line and Wi-Fi allows to access internet without telephone line. The two types of modem are internal modem and external modem. Next question. Dash is a process of buying and selling products or services over internet 
and dash is a process of performing bank transactions using internet dash provides you facility to compose store and send message over internet and dash refers to use of internet in teaching and learning next one dash refers to sending unwanted emails which obstruct the computer system and torjen is a dash the answer for this question e-commerce is a process of buying and selling products or services over internet and e-banking is a process of performing bank transaction using internet email provides you facility to compose store and send message over internet and e-learning refers to use of internet in teaching and learning spamming refers to sending unwanted emails which obstruct the computer system and torjen is a virus that's all for today's session thank you for watching see you in my next video until then take care and keep smiling